Confused about the TCFD? Well, you're not alone. That is why we made this video. Our goal is to explain what it is, when it's used, why it's helpful, and why it helps small and medium businesses like yours position themselves for risk mitigation and opportunity gain. Okay, let's go. The Task Force for Climate-Related Financial Disclosure is a framework. It's being used by companies around the world, but we're seeing it often in the US and Canada. It asks, how could climate change impact our firm? So who is reading these reports? Well, it's typically investors. They zero in on these disclosures to access risk and financial impact relating to climate change. What does the TCFD contain? It looks at risks, both physical and transitional, surrounding a firm. That could be policies coming out, the market, etc. It also looks at physical risks, acute and chronic. It then looks at opportunities. For example, how are you using resources and how could you be more efficient, your markets and your company's resilience? It encourages strategic planning and risk mitigation. By looking at these factors, you can impact your company's books in a real and tangible way. So who needs to report using the TCFD? Commonly, the task force are being seen by sustainability reports across the board. However, specifically U.S. and Canadian financial institutions and companies accessing public markets for equity and debt must disclose using this framework. So why would companies want to care about the TCFD? Why pick this framework of sustainability reporting if you're a private company? Well, for two reasons. You're going to be asked, and two, risk mitigation. So let's cover the first one. You may be asked. You may be asked to comply and disclose your emissions. You may be a source of scope three emissions for your financial institution, those lending you money, or a customer you supply to. As part of their value chain, you'll need to track and measure your own emissions as part of their report. Not doing so could get you removed as a partner. So what is scope one, two, and three? Scope one is direct emissions. Scope two is indirect or bought. You can think energy purchased. And scope three is other emissions related to your business. Risk management. Physical and transitional risks can represent a real problem if you're not careful. If your firm is not paying attention, a new regulation may creep up. Or one of your offices may be in a region impacted by wildfires or extreme drought. Getting staff or materials is hard and it impacts your bottom line. Some other physical examples. In late 2021, Vancouver was practically cut off from the rest of Canada due to rainfall from an atmospheric river, causing crippling supply chain disruptions. The price of lettuce spiked in late 2022 due to supply shocks caused by droughts in California. If drought patterns remain persistent into the future, restaurants, catering companies, and event spaces would need to plan around supply issues or seek other supply options that are not at risk. So where should your business start? One tip from this video, start tracking your company's emissions today. Even if you're not planning to disclose this year or next, start tracking using the GHG or Greenhouse Gas Protocol. They have a worksheet on their website you can access for free. Track scope one, two, and three. Don't try to hide emissions under scope three. For example, if your company owns delivery vehicles, selling them and outsourcing transportation is not necessarily making your company greener. So you should still count those emissions properly. So what's next? Using the TCFD framework today can be simple. It's simple to start and it could prepare your business for the impacts of climate change. It's goal to help you, not to trick you. Review the framework in its four main sections governance, strategy, risk management, and metrics and targets. That is where you should focus. The Task Force for Climate-Related Financial Disclosure is a winning framework in the sustainability world. Bayer, Loblaws, RBC all mention it in their sustainability reports. Why? It's inclusive, comprehensive, it's gaining worldwide traction, and mandatory regulations are citing it. Get familiar with it. Start using it. It's proactive. Head to the TCFD where you'll find resources, tools, and real-world reports. Thanks again for watching.